Hello everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education. I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about the introduction of exponential function. Okay, so I assume you already know about exponentials uh, in green line. So we have learned so far is uh, addition, subtractions, multiplications, divisions, and then the exponent is the fifth part we're going to learn. So exponent is just a quick way to write out for something, some number times himself, by how many times. For example, we have 2 to the power of 3. That means 2 times himself, 3 times. OK, I'm not going to talk about too many basic of uh, this expo exponent. If you uh, have trouble to understand this, please uh, check the Green Nice videos. So I'm going to talk about in this video is how to use those identities and the rules of exponent. exponent. OK, so remember one thing. Power of power equal to power multiply, and then power times power equal to power add up. OK, so um, maybe this not make sense for now. But let's see. Let's see what it, what it means. OK, the so power multiply powers. So we have a m to the a to the power of m times a to the power of n equal to power multiply power equal to power add up. So it's m plus n. OK, so if we have a 2 to the power of 3 and a 2 to the power of 4, so this means what? This means the 2 two times himself, 3 times. And then this means 2 times himself, 4 times. So 3 times times 4 times, which is what? Which is 2 times himself, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2 times himself, 7 times. That's what I mean, power times power equal to power add up. So power, power 3 times power 2 is power 7. Okay, one thing you need to be careful, you need to make sure the base are the same. If the base are not the same, do not do that. Same thing here. So power times power equal to power add up because the base are the same. So 3 over 4 to the power of 5 plus 2, which is 7. Make sense? Okay, the next part is the power of power. It's the power multiply. What do you think means power of power? So let's use exactly same uh, same example here. So 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 2. That means what? That means 2 times himself, 3 times, right? 2 times 2 times 2. And then these things time himself 2 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this the 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times himself 3 times. Entire things being times himself, himself twice will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So equal to 2 to the power of 6. So this is what I mean. Power, this is the power, right? Eh? Of power. So 2 of power 3. Power of power equal to power multiply. So 2 to the power of 3 times 2 equal to 6. OK, so now you don't have to worry about the base is not same because we only have one base. OK, let's see. 2 to the power of 5 to the power of 3, which is 2 to the power of 5 times 3, 15. OK, and then here, this one, tricky here, negative 3. Don't worry about the negative 3. We're just going to talk about the power here. We're just negative 3, still right here. 2 to the power of 4, then it's a 4 to the power of 2, to the power of negative 3. So 4 to the of 2, so 2 and the 4 multiply, which is 8. So power of power equal to power at uh, multiply, so 8. OK, so once we've done this two, the, the bottom two are simple. So quotient, if product means plus, quotient must be means minus, right? So same base, 8 divided by 5, so negative 6, 8. So which is negative 6 times himself, 8 times. This is total 8 times. Divide by 
the negative 6 five times. Okay, once we, we cancel 1, 2, 3, and after that, how many times we left? The bottom is all gone. The top is a 3 left, right? So it's negative 3, 6 to the power of 3 because power divided by power equal to power at the subtraction, so it'll be 8 minus 5. The base is still the same, 7 to the power of 9, divided by 7 to the power of 7, equal to 7 to the power of 9 minus 7, which is 7 to the power of 2. That's it. Okay, so power of power product. So these things is uh, applies. The 3 applies to 2, and the 3 applies to 5 as well. So power 3 is power of the power 2, at the same time is the power of power of 5. So we can imagine to do this. We can separate them like that. Three to the power of two, which is power of power equal to power multiply six a six. Power of power equal to power multiply b fifteen. That's it. Okay, the so four here. So we have how many terms here? One, two, and three. We, the power four apply to each one of them which is the 4 to the power of 4, a to the power of what? 3 times 4, 12, and then b to the power of 8. That's it. Okay? Now, let's see next. The power of power quotient. So, let's see here. a3 divided by b5. Do not subtract 3 minus 5 because they are in the same different base. Okay, now what do we do? We just do 3 apply to 3, 3 apply to 5. So it's equivalent to a to the power of 3 to the power of 3 divided by b to the power of 5 to the power of 3 equal to a to the power of 9 divided by b to the power of 15. And then we're done. Same thing here. The 3 is applied to any one of them inside this bracket. How many terms we have? 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So which is 2 to the power of 3, a to the power of 6 times 3 is 18, 3 to the power of 3, b to the power of 4 times 3 is 12. That's it. Okay? Uh, there's one thing we call exponent of exponent of zero. Uh, exponent of zero, just remember, it's just one. Always one. Any numbers power of zero just equal to one. So I don't care how many how complex inside. Power of zero, just one. Done. Okay, makes sense. All right. I hope you learned something. If you like, please comment. Uh, subscribe to my video. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, comment below. I will answer your question in my next videos. Thank you for watching.